next to a highway. Uh, we're gonna go to a party at the pan. I was gonna take the shovel head. Well, tomorrow is a party at the pan. And I was gonna ride my shovel head. Been working on it all week, trying to get ready. I haven't really rode it around a lot. So, just been messing around with it. Trying to make sure it's good to go. So, today I was riding it around. And uh, I think I blew it up. So, luckily I was close to home. I was only two to three miles away. So I'm gonna go pick it up in the El Camino. See if I can fix it tonight. Um, hopefully just lost spark or something. Um, but yeah, if not, I'll take the Dyna. And worst case, I'll take my KLR because my Row King is uh, not good to go. So those are my options. All right. Got the shovel head all loaded. We just backed up to this hill with the El Camino. Worked out pretty good by myself. Not too shabby. Gotta use the front camera on my phone. But it broke down on me yesterday, so I'm gonna take my Dyna. Leia's taking her sporty. Carson's taking his Dyna. My dad's taking his soft tail. So, should be a good time. Let's party. Feeling, Kyle? Good, how are you? Good. Brian, we gotta stop meeting like this. I know, this is terrible. What's going on? The fixer is doing FXR things. Broke down. Dead battery. Uh, we made it to Boise, staying at an Airbnb. Um, everything went good. The uh, <laughs> bikes all ran good on the way here. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to go to a party at the Pen tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we've seen Ryan on the side of the road. Uh, but uh, Wood Grain FXR and Detox, we're going to pick him up. So, we just stopped, made sure he had water, was good to go. And uh, then we went on our way. So, yeah. What's your thoughts going into Party in the Pen? Uh, this is my first time. I've been trying to come for three years, so excited to see all the vintage bikes. And uh, I want to see what there are for mid controls for shovel heads and uh, try and figure out what I like. And maybe do mids on my shovel. Hopefully next year I can ride my shovel. But uh, I'm going to go look for uh, one of my co-workers, former selves. Penitentiary and the fact that it's the haunted <laughs> penitentiary. <laughs> I'm super excited to be here. I think about getting another tattoo. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, maybe just find some more cool parts for the Dyna. And then the timer will go right here. It says zero. All right, it's filming. Uh, I'm excited to go to another bike show and I really want to find some cool clothes and fashion and vintage things to fill our house with. All right. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> party in the pan uh, just got here got some beer so we're gonna check out all the bikes so far it's pretty dope got breakfast this morning and it was pretty good so excited for what the day brings
liking the show so far? Uh, so far, pretty dope. Uh, got tattooed, bleeding all over the place, but comes with the territory. Uh, all the bikes are sick. Really wish I had my shovel here, but uh, I think I'm inspired to finish all my other projects at home. Hopefully, I can get them knocked out. But uh, just gotta sit back and enjoy life. Uh, what do you think of this so far, Party of the Pen? Uh, I think it's really cool, and I like the cells and all the bikes, and I like seeing all of our friends from all over the world. Well, Utah, but still. Utah's still in the world, so Utah's we're good. Utah's still in the world. Uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. I think you're the youngest dude here, bro. Fucking killing it. I've always loved bikes since I was little. And this is, we had a buddy come stay with us. He's our tattoo artist. He come stay with us for about a year. And he picked us up. Hell he yeah. Said, he said, no, let's do something. Because at the time we had an XS 650. Okay, yeah, those are sick. Hardtail, did everything. And that's left on the drawing board. Hell yeah. So they, they said, no, let's do this. We're working on this. So. I think, I think when I was eight, maybe nine, we freaking like, got the first kick and started. No fired shit. Fired up. And then he, he, he left with the bike. You can see the bike forever. Uh huh. And then, then, then these past couple past couple years, and he, he, said, he said, come up and move the bike for us. So. Pretty sweet, man. Thank you. So we so finally got the bike back, and then like, he was out of town. The day. He, uh, he was out of town, I was at home, like, oh, mm -hmm. I was already on spring break. You know what? I'm gonna spend a tremendous hours in the garage. Hell yeah. So that night, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Let's push it outside and try to start it. And this is this is before I did everything else to it. Mm -hmm. and freaking 
Let's start it for a little bit. Shut off. Oh, just off. a little bit. Get yep. you hooked. <laughs> nice. Damn it. You got to start now. Hell yeah. So after that, like, he has a not fucking this building. Let's get it right on the drive in. So read it by the clutch pods and okay. Three button cards. Um, throttle and. Hell yeah. Cables and all this. Just a little shit. Here I think there. you did a good job, man. It's like a gangster, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I bought the bike for Party at the Pen. And my name is Salo Sinero. How did you come about that tank? Came with the bike. It's just... Came with it. It's fucking cool, man. Built, built in the late 80s. It was an old survivor. Babe, what do you got? I have that onion that I found earlier. We convinced someone to dip it in chocolate and put almonds around it. So now I'm gonna go gift this to somebody. Be like, I can't eat this all. Like, here you go. Let's see how it goes. 30 and 330. Outbound train. Good apple? Yeah. yeah. We got two of them, but uh, yeah. I'm alright. We just yeah, need yeah. them. We already ate one. You guys should like take a bite for me for like a picture. No, I'm good. Like, So It's like sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same way it gets. 
how you swirl it, yep. oil, and you look for the oil ring. Oh, and this the, is good. the higher your oil ring is, the better the tequila. All right. And then you sniff it to get the aroma <laughs> of the guave and also of the oak barrels. Okay, oh, the oak barrel, the smokiness. Mm. And then just a little sip. Let okay. it sit on your tongue and keep your mouth closed and inhale through your nose. Okay. And that will give you more of the, the flavor, flavor and the aroma of okay. the I think you're right. I think you're on the sun. No, it doesn't taste like doing tequila shots of Jose Cuervo, does it? No. It tastes sophisticated. This is a whole lot better. It is. One too many. And the other tip, the other tip of drinking tequila, just because it costs more doesn't mean it's better. All right. No kidding. All right. Patron is garbage, <laughs> and so is Plaza Azul. <laughs> but this is this is Codigo. 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 All right. Look at all my oil. And that's a fine way to run. Google. George Strait, Codigo. Yeah. Alright, thanks again for hanging out with us guys. Okay, this morning we ate at Eggman and Edwards, something like that, it's pretty good. Just got done eating, uh, met up with some other dudes over here at the TA in Boise. So now we're gonna head to uh, Shoshone Falls, should be a good time. to uh, Shoshone Falls. Um, we all got a little uh, mixed up on the exit. Leia almost uh, took us out, but it's all good. It happens, so we made it here safely. Out here in the middle of nowhere, sublet Idaho or Malta or something. Got our prices for fuel here at the gas station. It really is out in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. It's flat. Leia says hi. Chloe says hi.